Hi, I'm Kevin Weeks, Director of Instruction, Cog Hill. I'd like to give you a tour of my potting lab and a little background on how it got started. It got started in 2000 when I wanted to give my students the best lesson I possibly could with the putter. I didn't understand how a stick on an angle could swing straight back and straight through. I had just enough physics in high school and college not to understand how that could happen. And I had played enough golf that I didn't understand how you could time up consistently the toe opening and the toe closing, which was something else that was being taught. I didn't understand how that could happen. With the help of a friend who was a mechanical engineer, I patented the dynamic impact indicator. What it does is it shoots a laser out from right behind the hole and it bounces off a mirror that's on, the, on your putter. This shows where the putter is at address and impact directionally as well as loft. And that was a huge learning curve for me. And then I added the Sam Putt Lab when it became available. The Sam Putt Lab, sold by Science and Motion Golf out of Germany, was revolutionary. And I still think it's the best thing on the market for analyzing your putting stroke. It gives 28 parameters and shows what you're doing and when you're doing it. it shows where the putter face is at address, impact. Now I could measure how the face rotated and the degrees of which it was rotating. Could also get really hard, firm, hard data on the speed at which it was swinging, when it was accelerating, how it was accelerating. This really revolutionized what I had learned with my laser system. The SAM came out three years after I started my putting research, and I've had over 2,500 different people come through on it, including 52 PGA or LPGA tour players. After three years of using the Science and Motion SAM Putt Lab, they came out with the Balance Lab and I had that embedded in my platform. The Sam Balance Lab was the first force plate on the market. When this was embedded in there, I could see exactly where the pressure was in somebody's feet, heel, toe, left, right, and how it moved during the stroke. I used it for a year and a half and never told anybody it was there because I didn't know what the data was showing me. But over time, I started noticing patterns with where the weight was, how it was distributed in the feet, left, right, as well as heel, toe, and could start moving setups around. And as you change the setup, you change the putter face and the path. That was another really big piece to the lab that helped me understand the association between pressure, path, face, and angle of attack. Then I added the thing that might be the most revolutionary thing, and that was my putting robot. This putting robot may not look like much. It's kind of a crude, not real, doesn't look like a golfer, but I can adjust how it swings. I can adjust the path. I can set the face. I can make this thing do whatever I want to. I can, so I studied the loft, rise angle, all kind of things that you could possibly do with a putter I have done with the robot and learned so much. I learned that path really isn't that important in putting. The ball starts where the putter face is looking. There's some videos on the, on, uh, the internet that I've done showing that. So this is an integral part of my research was done with this robot. Then the only thing I couldn't study was how the ball came off the face. Well, Quintic Ball Roll came out and added one of those two to my lab 
and now I could study exactly what the robot was doing and how that affected the ball rolling out. The Quintic really helped me understand the relationship between loft and rise angle and how that affected the ball coming off the face. The next piece I added was Rob Gibbs Perfection Platform. This platform has really let me study the effect of breaking putts on golfers. I can make the platform tilt left to right, right to left, up to 4%, and see what happens to players when they do that. Are they better left to right? Are they better right to left? And then combine that with the force plate, which I have embedded in here, can have helped a lot of players by changing the pressure in their feet, make more breaking putts. And I've added another piece to the puzzle for research that unfortunately due to a NDA, I can't talk about it at the moment, but I got a new research project I'm really excited about that I haven't heard of anybody else doing. If you come in for your putting lesson, you will go through the lab. All the research that I've done will go into helping you become a better putter. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the lab soon.